Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs are going to kick off a nine-game homestand against the defending World Series champions, the Atlanta Braves. The Cubs coming in first place in the NL Central are going to be facing off with the first place Braves. Now, as we get to the lineups for this game, the Cubs are going to be sending Aaron Nola to the mound. He's making start number four with a 2-1 record, 3.66 ERA, and a 1.02 whip. And the Cubs lineup today will be Horner, Paradis, Rizzo, Springer, Correa, Tauschman, Fegley, Nola, and the left fielder Santana is batting ninth. For the Braves, Kyle Wright is going to be on the mound. He is making start number three with a 1-1 one one record, a 172 ERA, and a 134 whip. Wright will have a lineup around him of Christian Pacha, Ender Inciarte, Ozzy Albies, Ronald Acuna, Freddie Freeman, John Camargo, David Fletcher, William Contreras, and the pitcher Wright batting ninth. The wind is blowing right to left at Wrigley Field today at 11 MPH, and it is time for the teams to take the field. As the Cubs head out to their defensive positions and Aaron Nola takes the mound, we see Christian Pacha stepping up into the batter's box. The Braves enter this game with a 6-7 and seven record. Oh, they've fallen out of first place. They're in second place in the National League East now. And the Cubs coming in with a 9-3 and three record leading the NL Central. It is 48 degrees today, a chilly breezy day at Wrigley Field. Aaron Nola standing on the mound has a one and two count and here is the pitch and a swing and a miss for strike three. So Nola records the first strikeout of the game on the first batter he faces. Inciarte now is the batter. With one out and nobody on. One and one count. Inciarte waiting for the pitch. And there's a drive to deep right field. I believe he got all that one. That one is going to find the stands. Actually right into the basket down the right field line. Home run number two, 386 feet out to right field. And that gives the Braves a 1-0 lead. Next up, Ozzie Albies with one out and nobody on. Here's a two-strike count and the pitch from Noli on a swing and a miss for strike three. So Nola... Strikes out Albies on three pitches, and that brings up Acuna with two outs and nobody on. Nola working with a three and one count. Here comes the pitch, and that is ball four low. So Nola issues the walk, Acuna takes first, and now Freeman is the batter. We're going to throw over to first just to keep Acuna close, and he dives back safely, and now. The pitch to Freeman with a 3-0 count, and there is ball four. So Nola issuing back-to-back -back walks, puts two men on with two out, and now John Camargo is the batter. Top of the first inning, one run already in. Here's a one and two count, and a ground ball over to first. Rizzo has it. He steps on the base, which will end the inning. So the Braves strand two. They score one. We go to the bottom of the first of a one nothing ball game. Nico Horner leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the first inning against Kyle Wright. Cubs down by one. Here's a 1-1 one, one count. And the first batter waiting for the pitch. And there's a grounder to first. Freeman has it. He flips to Wright, covering first, and that'll be out number one. Paradis now the batter with one out and nobody on. Here's a full count pitch to Isaac Paradis. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Parada struck out swinging, and that brings up Rizzo. Two outs and nobody on. 2-2 two, two count to Anthony Rizzo, and he swings and misses for strike three. So that's two strikeouts for Kyle Wright. Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the second of a 1-0 ball game. Nola now facing Fletcher in the top of the second inning, leading off for the Braves. Here comes the pitch from Nola, and there's a grounder to short. Picked up and thrown over to first by Correa. That'll be out number one. Next up is William Contreras with one out and nobody on. Nola facing Contreras with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. 
Strike three is called. Nola gets him with the sinker, and that is strikeout number three on the day for Aaron Nola. Next up is the pitcher right with two outs and nobody on. Full count pitch, and a swing and a miss for strike three. Blows the fastball right past him, and that will be four strikeouts on the day for Nola. We go to the bottom of the second of a one-nothing ball game. Springer facing right here in the bottom of the second inning. 1-1 one, one count. Springer is waiting for the pitch. And there's a grounder over to short. Picked up and thrown over to first. That'll be out number one. Next up is Correa with one out. Nobody on. One strike pitch from Kyle Wright. Here it comes. And there's a grounder past the first baseman into right field. That's going to be the first base hit of the Cub ball game for the Cubs. As Correa stops at first with a single. Mike Tauschman now is the batter. One out, one man on. Right, working with one ball count. Here comes the pitch to Tauschman. And there's a grounder right up the middle. There's another base hit. So the Cubs with back-to-back -back singles now have first and second with one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Josh Fegley now is the batter. Fegley facing right with one out and two men on. Cubs threatening here in the bottom of the second inning. Is Correa fast? No, no. Correa knows how to run the bases, but he is not fast. So, I'm going to ixnay that plan for now. And Fegley facing right with one out in the bottom of the second inning. Full count pitch. Fegley waiting. And that is ball four. So Fegley draws the walk. And now the bases are loaded. The Braves are going to draw the infield in. And the pitcher Aaron Nola comes up. So Nola is going to be asked to lay down a squeeze bunt right here. We're going to see if we can get the run home off of the bunt play. Here comes the first pitch. The bunt is laid down. It goes back to the pitcher. The throw goes home, and the runner is retired at home for out number two. So the bases are still loaded, and now Danny Santana is the batter with two outs in the bottom of the second inning. Right facing Santana with a one ball count. And Santana grounds it right in front of the plate. The catcher has it. He throws to first, and that'll end the inning. So, the Cubs leave the bases loaded. We go to the top of the third of a 1-0 ball game. Pacia now leading off for the Braves here in the top of the third inning. 1-0 Atlanta. Two-strike count. Nola looking to deliver the pitch. And there's a grounder, or excuse me, a pop-up to center field. Going back is Springer. He makes the... Wait a second. How is that? Oh, he drops it. Springer dropped it out in center field. That's an error. And Pacia is on second base on the error. So now Enciarte is the batter. He had a home run in his last time up. Top of the third inning. Nobody out. Runner on second. Here's the two and one count. And the pitch to Enciarte. And there's a grounder to second. Horner has this one. He throws over to first. That's going to be out number one. The base runner, Pesha, advances to third. And now Albies is the batter. One out and a runner 90 feet away. Here comes the first pitch. And he pops that one up to center field. Going back is Springer. Plenty deep. He's on the warning track. And he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. The runner on third is going to tag up and score. So the error comes back to haunt the Cubs. As the Braves now have a 2-0 lead. Acuna now the batter with two outs and nobody on Nola facing Acuna with a one and two count here comes the pitch and a swing and a miss for strike three so that fastball is going to end the inning however the Braves score again this time an unearned run and we'll go to the bottom of the third of a two nothing Atlanta lead Nico Horner coming up to lead off for the Cubs in the bottom of the third inning two nothing ball game Cubs trying to come back here and there's a drive down the left field line. Looks like he got it. And that is in the seats for a solo home run off the bat of Nico Horner. 404 feet down the left field line. And the Braves' lead is cut in half. This is a 2-1 ball game. Isaac Paradis now the batter. Right facing Paradis with the Cubs down by one here in the bottom of the third inning. Full count. Paradis draws the walk. That is ball four. Paradis heads down to first. 
So now, how good is William Contreras at running, throwing out base runners? I mean, he's above average. We probably shouldn't be trying to steal bases because Wright is actually really good at holding runners. We're going to go ahead and let Rizzo bat. Paradis on first, nobody out. Cubs down by one. There's a pop-up the opposite way. Going out is the third baseman in short left field, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. Now George Springer's the batter. One out, one man on. Right facing Springer with one ball count. And Springer lines that one into right field. However, a diving play in right field. And the catch is made by Acuna for the second out of the inning. Man, Springer tried to beat the shift there, hitting that one to the opposite field. But quick reaction by Acuna to make the play and record the out. Now Correa is the batter with two outs and a runner on first. Here's a one strike count and Correa grounds it to third. This will be routine. The throw goes to second. The lead runner is retired and the inning is over. The Cubs strand a runner. They score once. We go to the top of the fourth of a two to one ball game. Nola coming out in the top of the fourth inning in a two to one ball game. He's facing Freddie Freeman to lead off for the Braves. One and two count, Nola delivering, and a swing and a miss for strike three. That is going to be strikeout number six on the day for Nola. And now, with one out, John Camargo is the batter. Top of the fourth, three and one count, Nola working, delivering the pitch. And a pop-up to left, heading toward the line is Santana. He gets the ball, puts it away for out number two. And now David Fletcher is the batter. With two outs and nobody on. Nola working with a 1-1 count. Here is the pitch. And a pop-up to center. Springer heading toward right center field. Getting under it. And he makes the catch to end the inning. So the Braves retired in order. We go to the bottom of the fourth of a 2-1 ball game. Mike Tauschman going to lead off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. 2-1 ball game. Cubs are trailing. Here's a 2-1 pitch from right. And there's a liner into right center field coming over is the right fielder Acuna he's called off by Pesha who makes the catch for out number one Fegley now the batter with one out and nobody on here's a one strike count and the pitch to Josh Fegley and a grounder towards second picked up thrown over to first that's going to be out number two and the pitcher Nola is the next batter with two outs and nobody on Nola waiting for the pitch there's a grounder up the middle. The shortstop has it. He throws over to first, and that'll end the inning. The Cubs retired in order. We go to the top of the fifth of a two-to-one contest. Contreras facing Nola here in the top of the fifth inning. Two-two count. And there is strike three swinging. That is strikeout number seven on the day for Nola, and it brings up Kyle Wright. One out, nobody on. Two-two count. And a strike three call right there. That's two outs in the inning. Two more strikeouts for Nola. He is up to eight on the day. Next up is the center fielder, Pesha, with two outs and nobody on. Nola delivering the full count pitch. And ball four. He got squeezed right there. Nola staring at the umpire, not happy with that call. So Pesha now is on first with two outs. And Inciarte is the next batter. Top of the fifth inning first pitch the runner goes the throw goes down to second the slide and the tag and he is safe Pacia steals the base on the first pitch and now Fegley has failed to throw out that base runner so the runner is in scoring position with two outs top of the fifth inning Enciarte facing Nola here comes the pitch and a pop up to center Springer adjusting to his right making the catch to end the inning so the Braves strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the fifth of a two-to-one ball game. Danny Santana leading off for the Cubs here in the bottom of the fifth. 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the pitch to Santana, and he grounds that one over to first. Picked up and stepping on the base is Freeman. That is out number one. Nico Horner now the batter. He hit a home run his last time up, his first of the season. Facing off with right with one out and a one-and-two count. Here comes the pitch. And a liner over the shortstop's head in the left field. That's going to be a single for Horner as he stops at first. And he's really got Wright's number today. Paradis now is the batter with one out, one man on. Wright facing Paradis with a 2-2 count. 
and a pop-up down the left field line. Chasing is the left fielder. He's going to make the catch for the second out of the inning. Rizzo is the next batter with two outs and a runner on first. Rizzo facing right with the Cubs down by one. Here's the one strike count and the pitch to Rizzo. And a grounder towards second. Picked up and thrown over to first and that will end the inning. So the Cubs strand a runner. We go to the top of the sixth. Two to one Atlanta. Nola facing Albies here in the top of the sixth inning. Braves up by one. Nola working with a full count. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Albie swings and misses at the fastball, and that's number nine on the day for Nola. Acuna now the batter. Nola working with one out and nobody on. Here's a one strike count and the pitch, and a pop up deep center field. That one's going all the way to the wall. Looks like extra bases as the throw comes back into second. That'll be a one out double for Acuna. And now that'll bring up Freddie Freeman. One out and a runner on second. Nola working, trying to preserve the one, one, one run deficit here in the top of the sixth inning. Here's a 2-2 count and the pitch to Freeman. And a pop-up, this time to short left field. Going back is the shortstop Correa. He makes the catch for out number two. Camargo now the batter. He is 0 for 2 on the day, facing Nola with two outs and a runner in scoring position. Here's a one and two count and the pitch and a grounder over to first. Rizzo has it. He wins the foot race to the bag to end the inning. So, the Braves strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the sixth of a two to one ball game. The Cubs sending the four, five, and six batters up here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Right facing Springer, who will lead off for the Cubs. Here's a one and two count. And the pitch, and a swing and a miss for strike three. He chased one that was inside. That's going to be the first out of the inning. Strikeout number three on the day for Kyle Wright. And now Correa is the batter with one out and nobody on. Wright working with a one and two count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Correa is sent packing. And now Tauschman the batter. He's one for two on the day with two outs and nobody on. Wright working with one strike count. Here comes the pitch, and a grounder right in front of the plate. The catcher has it. He throws down to first, and the Cubs are retired in order in the bottom of the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh of a 2-1 to one ball game. Nola coming back out for the top of the seventh inning. We are going to warm up a reliever right here. In this case, let's see here. If we get to the top of the Braves lineup, we're definitely going to want a lefty. So we're going to warm up Patterson, and we're also going to warm up Birdie in case Nola gets in a jam here in the top of the seventh inning. So Nola's going to face the lower third of the Braves lineup in the top of the seventh inning. Nola working with the first pitch, and here it comes. And there's a pop-up to center uh, left field. Excuse me. Santana going back a few steps. He makes the catch for out number one. Contreras now the batter. One out and nobody on. Nola working with a 2-2 count. And there is strike three called. He absolutely floated a curveball up there. And it froze William Contreras. So ten strikeouts on the day for Nola. And now Kyle Wright is the batter. With two outs and nobody on. Nola is working with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And there's strikeout number 11. So Aaron Nola gets his 11th strikeout of the day to end the seventh inning. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. It's time to stretch here at Wrigley Field in a two-to-one ball game. And today, Ferguson Jenkins is going to lead the seventh inning stretch. Now, in the bottom of the seventh inning, Kyle Wright is still on the mound for the Braves. And Josh Fegley is the leadoff batter. And we are going to see the wheels start turning. Now, we have two relief pitchers warmed up and ready. We're going to set them down just for the moment. We are going to see a substitution for the Cubs. In this case, the first man off the bench is going to be Erie Adrianza here in the 
bottom of the seventh inning. He's going to pinch hit for Fegley to lead off for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh. Adrianza facing right. Full count. Adrianza waiting for the pitch. And that is outside. Oh, strike three called. Oh, my. That looked outside. And Adrianza is not happy, but he is struck out looking for the first out of the inning. So now Aaron Nola is the batter. And that is going to cause Ryan Braun to be brought up out of the bench to pinch hit. Braun, who is two for five as a, as a Cub with two RBIs, he's going to pinch hit against right in the bottom of the seventh with one out. Pardon me. And nobody on. Here's a one and two count and the pitch to Braun. And he ground ball toward third. Sharply hit. But right at the third baseman. And he throws it away. The ball rolls over toward the dugout. And Braun is going to be safe at second on the error. So the Cubs, given a gift here, have the tying run in scoring position in the bottom of the seventh inning on the throwing error by Camargo. And now Danny Santana is the batter. With... One out and one man on, right facing Santana. Here comes the 2-2 pitch, and Santana swings and misses for strike three. A curveball outside the zone, and Santana chase. So two outs in the inning. Strikeout number six for Kyle Wright, and now Nico Horner is the batter. He is two for three today. He's had as much success against Wright as anybody in this lineup. With two outs in the tying run scoring position, Horner comes up in the bottom of the seventh inning. And now we need to get those relievers warmed back up. So, Patterson and Birdie. Yes. So, Wright is going to face Horner with two outs and one man on in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two strike count. Wright looking to deliver the pitch. And there's a grounder toward third. Picked up by Camargo. He throws over to first. And this time they retire the runner to end the inning. So the Cubs strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the eighth of a two-to-one contest. And now we are going to see some defensive adjustments made. Aaron Adrianz is going to stay in the game. Yes, and he's going to play second base. And the pitcher, so Birdie is going to be brought in initially into the number one spot. Patterson will sit down, and Braun will stay in the game in left field, shifting Santana over to right. Wait a second, what did I just do? Oh, no, that's not right. I need a catcher. That's where we went. This went horribly wrong. Hang on a second. Santana and Tauschman are both staying in this game. Braun is sitting down, and Miguel Amaya is going to come in and catch because apparently that's a requirement that we have somebody behind the plate to protect the umpire. Now, Birdie is going to face Pesha here in the top of the eighth inning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Birdie has thrown five innings, allowed three hits, one run, one, one walk, eight strikeouts, and an ERA of 1.8. Birdie facing Pesha, who is over 2 on the day. Here's a 1 and 2 count. Birdie looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So that is the first out of the inning. And now Inciarte is the batter. And now Birdie is going to get moved out to left field. And Patterson will be brought in to face Inciarte. And pitch. So Patterson comes in. He has thrown six and two-thirds innings, walked three, struck out five, and has an ERA of 1.35. He is going to face the lefty in Ciarte here in the top of the eighth inning with one out and nobody on. Patterson working with a 1-1 count. 
He is looking for the sign. And here is the pitch. And a ground ball towards second. Horner has it, or Adrianza has it. He throws over to first, and that's going to be out number two. And now Ozzie Albies is the batter. Now Albies is a better hitter from the against the left-handed pitcher, yes. So we are going to switch Birdie back to the mound. And now Malik Smith will be brought in, and he is going to play left field. Yes, that's his best position. Malik Smith will be brought in to play left field. So Birdie back on the mound, Smith out and left, and that turns Albies around to the left-handed batter's box to face Birdie. Two outs and nobody on. Birdie working, 3-0 count. Here comes the pitch. Ball four, so he issues the walk. Birdie walks Albies, and as he heads down to first, Acuna now is the batter. With two outs and a runner on first, Birdie working with a 1-1 count. Looking for the sign, and here's the pitch, and a grounder towards second. Adrianza has it. He throws over to first, and that'll end the inning. So the Braves stranding a runner. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning of a 2-1 to one ball game. And now, for the next half inning, we are going to warm up Diaz to pitch in the ninth inning and protect the one-run deficit because he is going to face Freeman, Camargo, and Fletcher in the top of the ninth inning. Now, Paradis coming up. He's going to lead off against Wright here in the bottom of the eighth inning. We've really got to hope that Wright runs out of gas here. He's at 95 pitches. we got to get to him, hopefully here in the eighth inning. Paradis leading off. Here comes the first pitch from Kyle Wright. And there's a pop-up in foul territory. Coming in right on the line is the second baseman. He calls off Freeman, and Albies makes the catch for out number one. Next up is Rizzo with one out, nobody on. Right facing Rizzo with a 2-2 count. And Rizzo grounds it over to first. Freeman picks it up, takes half a step to get to the bag, and that's out number two. Now George Springer is the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Right facing Springer with a full count. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder over to third. Camargo has it. He throws over to first, and that'll end the inning. So we go to the top of the ninth. It is a 2-1 to one Atlanta lead. Birdie still on the mound, but Diaz is ready to come in. So Diaz will be brought in to pitch in the ninth inning. You're going to try to hold the Braves right here and make sure that the lead doesn't get any bigger. Diaz facing Freeman in the top of the ninth inning. 2-1 to one ball game. Here comes the first pitch from Diaz. He is looking for the sign. And he delivers the pitch. And a pop-up to center. Going back is Springer. Stopping short of the warning track. He makes the catch for out number one. Diaz now facing Camargo with one out and nobody on. Here's the one and two count. Diaz looking to deliver the pitch. And strike three is called. So Diaz gets the strikeout with the slider. Second out of the inning, and it brings up Dave Fletcher. Two outs and nobody on. Diaz working with a two-ball count. Here comes the pitch. And a pop-up to left. Coming in is Malik Smith. He looks up, and he makes the catch to end the inning. So the Braves go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the ninth of a two-to-one ball game. And now, Will Smith will be brought out of the Braves' bullpen. He has thrown two and two-thirds innings allowed three earned runs, walked one, struck out five, and has an ERA of 10.13. So he's going to face Correa, Tauschman, and Adrianza here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Smith facing Correa to lead off for the Cubs. One and two count. Will Smith is one for one in save chances this season. Here comes the pitch, and that is strike three called. So Correa goes down looking, and now Tauschman is the batter. Tauschman facing Smith here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the last guy on the bench is Jambrioni. 
And we're going to let... Yeah. Jambriona could potentially pinch run for somebody. But in this situation, Smith is going to face Tauschman in the bottom of the ninth inning with one out and nobody on. Here comes the one strike count and the pitch to Tauschman. And he's going to line that one in the center field. Long run and a diving play to rob him of a base hit. Pesha makes an unbelievable catch for out number two. And now, Erie Adrianza is the batter. He comes up from the right side against the lefty Smith here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Two outs, full count. Here comes the pitch. And that's a check swing and ball four is issued. So Adrianza draws the walk, which brings up Miguel Amaya. Now Adrianza is on first. He runs well. But Will Smith, the lefty, is excellent. He's almost maxed out on his ability to hold runners. I don't see how that's really going to benefit us at all to try to steal a base. So Amaya facing Smith. Cubs down to their final out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Smith working with a two-ball count. And there's a drive to deep left field. That might be. It is gone. The Cubs win the game 2-1 to one on a Miguel Amaya two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth inning. The Cubs walk this one off 394 feet down the left field line, and the Cubs win 3-2 to two in the bottom of the ninth inning. We are waving the white flag here in Chicago today. Man, what an exciting finish. So, Will Smith is tagged with the loss. He drops to 0-2 and blows the save. He threw two-thirds of an inning, allowed one hit, two runs, one walk, one strikeout, and the home run allowed. Kyle Wright for the Braves basically did everything he possibly could. Eight innings of four-hit, one-run baseball with two walks, six strikeouts, and one home run allowed. Aaron Nola for the Cubs certainly pitched well enough to deserve to win. He threw seven innings of two-hit, one-run baseball with three walks and 11 strikeouts. One of the runs he gave up was unearned. Diaz gets the win. He threw a perfect ninth inning. And the Cubs improved to 10-3 and three as the Braves dropped to 6-8. and eight. Look at that crazy line. The Braves were that close to win, and then the line just dropped straight down. That's amazing. All right. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.